A really big concern during storms is lost pets. Animals often get separated from families during disasters, and it may be hard to find them afterwards unless you take the right precautions. Reporter Nico Clemens has everything you need to know. Okay, go see him. Go see him. It's a quick and painless yeah, procedure. It can mean that. the difference between lost and found. Pets are an extension of your family. Microchipping your pet. The actual chip is the size of a small piece of rice. Your dog or cat or pet gets lost, and at times you'll end up on a journey of your own trying to find them. You see it happen often, especially when a big storm hits an area. Most recently, Hurricane Harvey in Texas. Your pet could be disoriented and scared, and they could take off. They wouldn't know where to go. I went inside Newport News Animal Hospital to watch Biscuit get microchipped. Right into the loose extra skin of the neck and into the muscle. And it's that simple. Good job. Yeah. Good boy. And here we go to double check. And there's our code, and that links our sweet pet biscuit to its owner. According to a recent American Veterinary Medical Association study of more than 7,000 stray animals at animal shelters, dogs without microchips were returned to their owners about 22% of the time. But microchip dogs were returned to their owners 52% of the time. Cats without microchips were reunited with their owners less than 2% of the time. Microchip cats went back home almost 40% of the time. It's very rewarding. It's very rewarding. That's why vets are stressing the importance of microchipping so they can get these pets on their way and back home where they belong. In Newport News, Nico Clemens, 13 News Now.